was very depressed. I like never left my room. Olympic gold medalist Simone Biles I I opening up on Priyanka Chopra's new film. YouTube show. I if I could tell you just one thing about the dark time in her life after being sexually abused by former USA Gymnastics team doctor Larry Nasser. I was sleeping all the time and I told like one of my lawyers, I said I sleep all the time because it's the closest thing to death. That revelation sparking a conversation around so-called depression naps. The term of a depression nap is basically just a lie down to escape the world through sleep if you're feeling particularly anxious or depressed. The correct term is something called hypersomnia, which means that you are sleeping too much. Researchers at Harvard Medical School say up to 90% of adults and children with major depression experience some kind of sleep problem. If you find that the sleep during the day is also coupled with other symptoms like feeling hopeless or helpless or losing interest in doing activities that normally would make you happy, I would want you to seek attention for that. The four time Olympic gold medalist who just celebrated her 22nd birthday says seeking professional help was the answer to her daily struggle. Therapy is everything. Therapy today is so important and it needs to be more normalized. Biles also reveals why she was at first hesitant to come forward with her story. And I was like, no, I'm not willing to put that out there for the world to see. They're not going to see me as Simone the gymnast. They're going to see Simone as a sexual abuse survivor. And so I denied it. Opening up about her experience on today, telling Hoda how she kept her internal struggle buried deep while competing. I think we're very good at compartmentalizing things. And so we just kind of push it in the back of our heads. He can't hurt you anymore. No, he cannot. <laughs> Fresh off a gold medal win at the Stuttgart World Cup, Biles is now reflecting on her journey from that dark period in a more positive light. It wasn't easy, but I feel like I'm a stronger woman today and I feel like telling my story has helped younger girls.